unless we put on. I work on set as a tailor, and my projects range from broadcast to commercial advertising. I also do celebrity alterations for red carpet events. My biggest passion is designing and making custom motorcycle products. So I thought it would be special if I showed you how to upcycle an old leather vintage jacket into a barrel bag on my Bernina machine. I have a few jackets here, and if you don't have any, they're really cheap, you can go to a thrift store and pick them up for, you know, 10 bucks or a yard sale. So. Um, and you can use any type of material for this project, which is really great, but I really wanted to focus on leather. So the first step we need to do is make the pattern. I took a round object, place it on the paper, and you're going to trace it. Once you have it traced, you're going to add a half an inch seam allowance. So it should look something like this once you cut it out. Then you're gonna fold it in half. When you fold it in half, this is gonna give you the line in the center, which is the diameter. And then what you wanna do is multiply it by pi, 3.14. So once you have the diameter, that's gonna figure out the length of the base of your bag. My diameter is six and a half inches, which means the length of my bag is gonna be 20 and a half inches. So what you want to do is do the base, and then you're going to move it up to see how tall you want your bag. I went with eight and a half inches. So eight and a half inches is how long I want my bag, but then there's going to be another piece you're going to fold over to sew down, so you're going to add an inch. So nine and a half inches total. Once you have your piece, you cut it out. Make sure to add your seam allowances on the side and the bottom. So the other thing you can do is if you can't pin it, you can trace it with a Sharpie, because the Sharpie is going to leave a little red mark. So the great thing is now that we've made the pattern in a thicker paper, we can keep reusing it. You can make a bag for your friend or make something out of denim or another fabric and it's great. So just hold on to this. So first thing we're going to do is do face to face and we're just going to put a seam up the side. And whatever you use for a seam allowance, that's what you're going to want to use. There's two ways you can use uh, clip leather. I like to use these little binder clips. While I'm working, and it keeps the leather from sliding around. It also keeps the uh, leather from getting additional holes into it, or you can actually pin it. So it's really important if you put the Teflon foot on, as I have, the one that, uh, number 52 from Bernina, you never want to put it down onto your feed dog because it'll ruin the bottom of the Teflon. I also like to use like a four or five stitch length on a straight stitch because when they're too close together, it ends up ripping the leather. So we're going to turn down and finish the top part of the bag. So we're just going to fold it over for a seam allowance to one inch and then stitch it. I'm going to use my clips again to hold it down. So I'm measuring one inch all the way around. I'm going to open this up so I can use the arms. So now we're going to put the base of the bag onto the top part to use them. I'm actually going to pin this one. When you put the base on, you kind of want to clip it a little bit just so you can get the base to fit. So you pin it all the way around. And I would say every couple inches you just want to give it a little clip. Uh, not going past your seam allowance. I have really thick leather that I'm using, uh, but the machine seems to be going through without any issues, so it's really nice. So once you're done sewing, you can pull the pins out and then flip it around. This is going to be your bag. And you can kind of just go around the side and push the leather out a little bit. So when it comes to the strap of the bag, you can get a little bit creative. I just cut another piece from the jacket. I'm going to fold it and stitch it down. I'm just going to measure it up it, I'm going to stitch it down. So one of the last steps is we're going to put some holes in the bag so we can close it. Uh, I'm going to use a leather punch. You can also use your scissors, you just have to be really careful. And you just want to, every couple of inches, put a hole. So once you have the holes punched, I'm using leather cording, uh, you want to take about a yard, so a yard is about from your nose to 
tip of your finger, and we're gonna thread it through. My mom taught me that. <laughs> and then you're just going to knot the ends. I found a little piece of scrap leather. I wanna put little white tassels on the ends, so I'm gonna do that really quickly. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking out my tutorial. There will be more tutorials from 7th Bone Tailoring Team as we show you other alterations and ways to upcycle things from your own wardrobe. It's all can be found on the Bernino's website, weallsew.com.